Brewers final pitch presented by West Bend. The silver lining. The Nationals take the series finale 2-1 to one in 11 innings. Stephen Watson, Vinny Rotino here inside of American Family Field where the Brewers wrap up this seven-game homestand, Vinny, with a 5-2 and two record. Yeah, I mean, they couldn't finish off the, the sweep uh, against the Washington Nationals today. But again, it's a, a little bit, look at the silver lining of how well they're playing. They just didn't get that next hit. They got a bunch of traffic on the bases today. Couldn't that get that next hit. Pitched beautifully again. So uh, look for them just to clear this one and move on to St. Louis. Yeah, their only run of this game coming in the sixth inning. Carlos Santana with an RBI sack fly. Yeah, and it started off with a Mark Canna base hit. And he is absolutely raking lately. That was a 1-2 count to a 3-2 count. And then he got that base hit, and then he steals second base right here. And then William Contreras, using his instincts, said, you know what, these shadows are too tough. i, I got to just get him over to third base with less than two outs, which allows Carlos Santana to lift the fly ball for his 76th RBI of the season. That ties the ball game in the sixth. And it would remain tied all the way into the 11th inning, and Joey Manessis with an RBI sack fly of his own to respond and give the Nationals a 2-1 lead. Yeah, that started with that zombie runner on second base. Lane Thomas was able to get him over to third base with a, with a fly ball, and then that one right there by Joey Manessis, that sack fly, puts the Nationals up by a run, and that's all they would need in order to win this ballgame. The Brewers pitching staff allowing just four hits in this game, but the offense just could not deliver, and what a great defensive play to end this baseball game by Michael Chavis. The double play ends this baseball game. The Brewers go just 1 for 11 with runners in scoring position. Yeah, and that was just a great play. Again, sometimes you just have to tip your cap, and he made a great play to glove that ball, but then also had the presence of mind to throw home in order to get the runner, William Contreras, to prevent the Brewers from tying that ball game. So tip your cap. That was an unbelievable play. Yeah, Brewers had their chances offensively. Zero extra base hits in this loss. Let's hear from manager Craig Council. Yeah, I mean, we had opportunities to to def to win the game. Um, you know, lots of at bats um, with uh, with the man in scoring position, and just didn't get the next hit. So the Brewers cap off their homestand with a five and two record. They head now to St. Louis and then Miami for the final road trip of the regular season. Freddie Peralta going against Adam Wainwright, Vinny. Yeah, Freddie Peralta has been on an unbelievable run ever since July 26th. He's just been one of the best pitchers in all of baseball in that time stretch. And look, you got to take advantage of, of uh, an Adam Wainwright in the twilight of his career, not having a good year. He's given up a bunch of homers. He's given up a bunch of hits as well. Got, teams are hitting 354 against him this season. So hopefully the Brewers can take advantage of him. And then Freddie Peralta has a good start. Yeah, the Brewers are in a stretch of 17 straight games right now. They've played 10, a 7-3 and record right now for these Brewers. They look to keep it rolling on the road. This has been a Brewers final pitch presented by West Bend, the Silver Lining.